Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add space or measures to the song start in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here, and I want to add space or a few measures to the beginning of the song. As we can see, the song actually starts at bar three, because you can't really start at bar one. There's no space for a pickup or getting ready to record. So we usually tend to record a bit later. In this case, starting at bar three. But I also have some tempo changes, a marker, and a region. And I want to move those over when I add the space or measures to the beginning of the song or project. But before we do that, I want to show you another feature. Because the song starts at bar three, it's not very helpful for counting measures. And also, it's going to start at three seconds, as we see down here. So if I play it, it starts at bar three, and it's already three seconds in. So if I want to know how long the song is, maybe I'm working on a commercial and I need it to be exactly. 15 or 30 seconds, I probably want this to start at zero and also at bar one. So we could do that with our project settings. Let's go up here to File and choose Project Settings. But we could also choose it in our toolbar right over here. That opens up our project settings. And with the first tab, we could change the project start measure. To a different number. Because our song starts at bar three, I'm going to push this back two bars to negative one. So now the measures start at bar one, which is much more helpful for counting measures in our song as it now starts at bar one. But I want to do the same thing with the time, I want it to start at zero. So let's go back to the project settings. And we can see over here, project start time. We could offset this as well. But let's first select the song start with our cursor. Now go back to the project settings and hit this button over here. Set zero to edit cursor. So our cursor is at the song start. If we hit this, it offsets it by those three seconds. So now the song starts at zero. As we can see right here, bar one, zero seconds. So I play it from the beginning and it goes to bar one, zero seconds when the song starts. But that's not the point of this video. Let's say we wanted to add some space to this beginning. What we could do is just nudge it over. Just select any item, then select all, go to the view menu, and choose nudge set items, which opens up this dialog. And we could choose nudge, position, we'll make it two, measures. And then if we nudge it right, it moves it over creating that space. But there's a problem with that. It didn't move over the markers, our tempo changes, or the region. So we want that stuff to move too. So instead, we'll create a time selection of the size we want to add. So let's turn on the grid and snapping. So our time selection will be perfect. And select from the beginning, to here, which is two bars. If you wanted one bar, we would just select one bar or four bars, whatever you need. But we're going to insert just two bars. Then we're going to go to the action list. Right here, show action list. And we're going to search insert empty space. And this action right here shows up insert empty space at time selection and it's going to move the later items. So if we double click this, 
it inserts two more bars at the beginning of a project. But it also moved our marker, our region, and the tempo changes in our project. So it moved everything perfectly and created two more bars. But it also offset the song start. Bar one is now over here at zero seconds. So we should offset it again. Put our cursor right here, open the project settings, change this to minus three, and click this again. So now it still starts at bar one, zero seconds. But now we have four bars of intro. And of course, we could add as much or as little as we want. But let's say we want to do the opposite. We want to remove time. We can do that as well. And it's also going to move over our markers, our regions, and our tempo changes. So let's select how much we want to remove. Let's do two bars, go to the action list, and this time type in remove time. Then this action shows up right over here. Remove contents of time selection, moving later items. So if we double click this action, it removes those two bars and also moves over our markers, our regions, and our tempo changes. So it perfectly removes that time. But again, it offset the project settings. So we could put those back to minus one. And we're back to bar one, zero seconds, with only two measures before the song starts. Now we could also do this in the middle of the song. Let's move over to here. Let's say I wanted to add two bars before verse one. Again, we have tempo changes, a region, and a marker. Just select from bar five to seven, because we want to create two new bars. Go to the action menu, insert empty space, and choose that first action. And that created space right here, but it also moved over our markers, our regions, and the tempo changes. So it added two new bars in our project and split all the items and moved them over. So it keeps everything aligned. And again, we can remove it by selecting those two bars, Remove time and choosing this action. Remove contents of time selection, moving later items. And that puts it back, closing up the gap. So that's pretty much it. That's adding space or measures to the song start or any place in the project in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.